hey what's going on welcome to Cal's world my name is Kenna and welcome to today's video now today we have a battle a battle of the breakfast sandwich I love breakfast sandwich there's one specific breakfast sandwich I love above all else and a lot of places have it but these two are pretty much the best and I've wanted to compare these two for a long time so we got here so we got here Jack in the Box. Now, what sandwich it is, you ask? None other than croissant sausage sandwich. And Jack in the Box has theirs. So does Burger King. Compared side to side, it actually looks like Jack in the Box has the wind. The um, croissant itself is a little bit flakier. But before we dig into the sandwich itself, we gotta get a great drink. For breakfast, there is one drink that surpasses them all. It's none other than coffee. This company did reach out to me and um, send me some of their stuff to review, and I actually really, really love it. So I have it here for you guys. Um, it's pretty much a microdose coffee. Nothing else I can say about it, but it is great. It is amazing. For such a small bottle, you it packs a punch and it delivers a lot of coffee for how much you're paying for it and how much each bottle is. Um, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. At checkout, make sure you use the code word TANA and you'll get a good discount on it. Everybody needs a little discount nowadays. And for coffee, save yourself a little bit of money. Brew it yourself at home. Honestly, I prefer this over Starbucks because I don't want to wait for my coffee. This is already brewed for me. This is already set for me. I just have to customize it to the way I like it. So I highly recommend this. Um, I used to do a lot of concentrated coffee so I know when something's really good and I do recommend this. And to be upfront with you, it does support the channel a lot. So I appreciate it. So let's pour a little bit. There we go. So there isn't much in here, as you can see, but it's very, very concentrated. All you have to do is add your milk, water, however you want to make it. It's pretty much the base of a coffee right now, and you can do whatever you need to to it. And lately I've been into oat milk, so that's what I got here. Then you stir it a little bit. You can add your cream or whatever you like, just to make it your own, rather it be French vanilla, hazelnut. I just generally like half and half. It's, be it's basic, simple, and clean. And that's all you need to do. Oh yeah. Woo, straight, strong, and good. All right, let's go. Now this is the Burger King one. The most important part of any breakfast sandwich is the egg and how it's done. This looks really good. There's cheese between the sausage and the uh, croissant. Let's take a bite. Mm. All right, clean. The sausage ha has a good flavor to it. But let's go into this Jack in the Box one. Now, Jack in the Box has it in somewhat of a reverse order. So you get the egg here. Um, actually looks a little bit better. I like the fact that it's egg whites and you can actually see the yolk on the sausage is there. The croissant looks a little bit fluffier, a little bit better. But let's take a bite. Mm. coffee and one of these sandwiches is perfect now between the two I have to give it to Jack and Rock because the egg and the croissant taste so much better but I'm just curious right now so we got a bit of the croissant and the sausage let's see so my verdict is this if the sausage means a lot to you then Burger King has a better sausage. Now, if the croissant and egg means more to you, 
than Jack in the Box. My take on this is the Jack in the Box wins. Um, presentation, um, the fluffiness of the croissant, because ultimately a croissant sandwich, the main part of the croissant sandwich is obviously the croissant. Um, it's nice, fluffy, um, buttery, so much goodness. So I recommend the Jack in the Box one, but both, you won't, you won't be disappointed. They're both good. Uh, make sure you get yourself some coffee with it. But until next time, keep eating.